Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lopes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this lesson, we'll be looking at sample calculations for liquid fugacity. Our goal is that you will be able to calculate fugacities for pure liquids after this lesson. In a previous lesson, we had seen that we can approximate liquid fugacities using several different approximations. It, um, you can sometimes just get away with saying, eh, it's going to be close to the vapor pressure for the liquid. It's okay if you're near saturation, it's not great. I can do better as long as I'm near saturation by taking the vapor pressure and multiplying it by the fugacity coefficient for the vapor. And this works because the fugacity of the liquid and vapor will be equal to each other at saturation. So as long as I'm very close to saturation, temperature and pressure, this should be fine. But I can do even better by making a correction for the pressure, as we see in our best approximation. Let's put this into practice. So let's calculate the fugacity of liquid propane in contact with its saturated vapor at 2 bar and negative 25.43 degrees C. So this is the saturation, temperature, and pressure pair. So I'm looking for saturated liquid propane fugacity. The quick approximation is just simply to say that it's going to be the vapor pressure. So 2 bar is roughly an answer. And if that's all the time I want to put into this problem, then I can accept that. But I can do better. To do better, what I'm going to do is find the fugacity coefficient for the vapor. In this case, I'm going to use corresponding states, although I could use equations of state or other techniques if I prefer. So for corresponding states, I need critical temperature and pressure, turn those into reduced temperature and pressure, and as seen here, I get 0 0.67 for reduced temperature, 0 0.047 for reduced pressure. And using corresponding states data tables, I find that phi at omega equal to 0 is 0 0.9495, and when omega is 1, it's 0 0.9434. Now recall that for corresponding states for fugacity coefficients, the fugacity coefficient is the exponential of the log of phi naught plus omega times the log of phi 1. And if you use laws of logarithms, we get the expression shown on the screen. So, Using these numbers with 2 bar as the vapor pressure, I get 1.88 bar. And this is going to be a much better choice for answer than the 2 bar. But what if I wanted to increase the pressure, let's say to 4 bar and 25 or negative 25.43 degrees C. The vapor pressure is still 2 bar, but now I'm going to have a liquid at a higher pressure. I want to use the best approximation formula in these conditions. So I'm going to start with my answer at saturation, which was the 1.88 bar, and multiply by the exponential of specific volume times the pressure minus the vapor pressure over RT. Now doing a data search, I found that the specific volume of propane at one bar is 0 0.552 cubic meters per kilogram. If I'm assuming that this is an incompressible liquid, then this is probably good enough. If I don't like that number, I could continue doing a search and see if I had other values. But typically for liquids, an incompressible fluid is about as good as we're going to do. So I'll use that for V. This term then becomes that 0 0.552 meters cubed per kilogram times 5 minus 2 bar. I'm going to be dividing by R, the gas constant, so I need to get rid of the per kilogram in the, cubic or in the specific volume, and so multiply by 44.1 kilograms per kilomole, and then divide by my R, divide by my temperature, and I end up with 10.63. Multiply that times up my 1.88, and for, at 4 bar, the fugacity for the liquid is approximately 20 bar. Now, if I had just taken the pressure and said, oh, that's close to the answer, I would have been fairly far off. Now, I do want you to notice that this is a strong function of pressure. If you continue these calculations for other 
pressures. So I did it for 3 bar, 2.5 bar, 2.1 bar, getting closer and closer to the vapor pressure of 2 bar. I saw that at 3 bar, it's roughly twice the actual pressure. At 2.5 bar, it's a little larger. At 2.1, it's very close to the vapor pressure. But this is a strong function of pressure. So doing the pressure correction seems to be very important for liquid fugacities. So this concludes our lesson. I wish you good luck doing these calculations. Thank you for your time.